Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Zelda 3 Homebrew. And as you can see, I tried to launch it and this happens. It says failed to read the uh, debt file and stuff. So, when you run into that issue, what you want to do is you want to head over to your PC. In this tutorial it's a PC, you can use a phone or tablet or whatever. Um, let me show you guys the computer now. Okay. When you're over here, you can use, uh, well, you can use any FTP, but I'm going to use FlashFXP. You could use uh, FileZilla, it's all the same. And what you want to do is you go to, to Computers, go to Quick Connect. I'm getting ahead of myself. One sec. Go back to the Xbox. Sorry about that. <laughs> go to My Games and Apps. Start the Durango FTP FTP app. Go down to Start. Now you see your IP address right there, 192.168.1.11. Now go back to your computer. All right. I'm going to go here and and use that one because that's in my um, favorites. Now all you have to do is just type out the address here, hit anonymous, and then hit connect, and that's it. Go to local folder, then go to... Um, uh, where was it? It's right here. Pubble. Pubble Gamer. Go to the local state. Alright. Once you're under there, uh, find where the game is. And then transfer over the INI. Right click and transfer. Same with the data. File. There you go. Now that those are there, minimize this. Go back to the Xbox. Stop this. Go back and start up Zelda 3. And just like that, you can now play A Link to the Past. Now, I don't know if I said this before, but um, this game does have quality of life improvements. It's not just A Link to the Past. Uh, maybe I'll put the link in the description to that, if I remember. <laughs> so, uh, I hope this helps. Uh, you can do this, of course, on retail or dev mode. So. It doesn't have to be a specific tutorial. But anyways, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.